Hey guys, this is David the Skin King here from AcneEracingSecrets.com. Today in this video I'm going to talk about uh, masturbation, sex, and acne. Um, the question was, you know, does sex cause acne and does masturbation cause acne? Um, it's a very good question because uh, there actually is a link between those two. Um, and there really there's a link, you know, with everything in the body um, in regards to acne and, and the skin and breakouts. So, I'm going to talk about uh, how masturbation and sex can cause more acne and pimple breakouts and uh, how at the same time you can manage that, um, you know, with, with you know, your, your preferred lifestyle, I guess I could say. Um, so, uh, basically the first things first, uh, for males it's more of a, an issue than with females because um, for males, uh, when they ejaculate, um, that's what, what happens is they're uh, losing a lot of uh, different uh, nutrients in their body. Um, I mean, if you think about it, sperm itself is life. It's, it's actually the basis of life. It's, a, it's very, very, uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of nutrients in it, vitamins, minerals, proteins, things like that. So um, if you ejaculate too often, on too often of a basis, whether it's through masturbation or sex, uh, that will deplete your body of nutrients that it needs in order to recover and, and in order to uh, you know rebuild skin and, and all the other organs in your body. So um, as far as masturbation and sex goes, you don't want to ejaculate too often. This is more specifically for males, just because females uh, don't really lose nutrients um, when they ejaculate. So uh, really, you know, as far as, as males go, you, you want to make sure uh, to not ejaculate that often. Uh, you know, uh, as far as that goes, you know, whether it's masturbation or sex, maybe, you know, once a week um, is probably best. And, and, you know, maybe even less than that, maybe once every two or three weeks. Um, really, the less the better, but at the same time, you want to ejaculate every once in a while because it helps uh, remove uh, things out of your body and just helps your uh, sexual uh, organs stay healthy. Um, it's like exercise for your sexual organs, and that sexual energy and, and those sexual organs need to be exercised in order to, to stay active and, you know, and, and whatnot. So, uh, it's healthy. at the same time, it's healthy to sexual activity and, and the sexual organs when they get exercised. Uh, and, you know, massage in a sense, it's healthy. So, um, understanding that there's a balance between uh, ejaculation and then obviously the other end of it, which is, you know, um, you know too, there, there's too much ejaculation and then there's obviously too little too. So, you have to find, um, you know, really what's best for you. And, and you know, it, there's a lot of factors that go into this, like your age, for example, um, your current sexual, sexual activity. Um, you know, there's all these different factors that come into play, but basically, my recommendation to you is to ejaculate less often, um, but still, you know, get, uh, you know, it, whether it's sex or masturbation, it's still a healthy thing to do for your sexual organs and to circulate that energy throughout your body. Um, so, there's a balance in there. Um, but just so you know, young kids watching, I'm not recommending you go out and get pregnant in high school or whatever. That's not what I'm recommending at all. So don't, so don't come at me with all your lawyers and parents and stuff. It's not cool. So, um, <laughs> so really, I guess that really just sums it up. You know, you don't want to ejaculate too often. And I guess this really goes for both males and females. You don't want to ejaculate too often, um, but at the same time, it needs it, you need that that um, you know that energy and that flow and that really exercises your sexual organs. Um, so. My recommendation um, is to exercise your sexual organs, um, but don't ejaculate as often, you know. So limit that so that you save that those nutrients in your body, and so that your body can use those nutrients to replenish, uh, you know, your, your, your body and really your skin cells will, will benefit that because um, when, you, when you ejaculate, you lose a lot of, like I said, vitamins and minerals, nutrients and proteins that if you weren't to do to do that, that would rebuild your skin, rebuild your internal organs, and help uh, the health of your body. And I've actually heard before uh, that a longevity secret is, uh, is I believe it's monks, um, they don't ejaculate like at all, or you know, very, 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 very rarely. Um, whereas you know, in you know America or you know wherever you are in the world, uh, other places in the world, uh, males and you know whatever, male, mostly males, you know, just ejaculate all the time and don't think of anything of it. That's a lot of nutrition. Uh, your body has to replenish and rebuild in order to, you know, f uh, in order to have that that uh, in your sexual organs just sitting there. Um, whereas if you didn't do that, your body it would it'd go those nutrients would go into other places in your body and help rebuild tissue, organs, um, healing, recovery, support, whatever it may be. So um, 
like I said, there's a balance there, and I recommend you, you know, look up more information as far as um, your age, um, you know, just understanding that more and looking in, into it further. Um, so, I guess to answer the question, does, masturba does masturbation and sex cause acne? Um, yes and no. Yes, in the fact if, if it's too often and, and you're losing too much um, sperm and you're losing too much of those nutrients. Um, and then no, the, the no side of that would be um, if, if it's balanced, if, it, if it's healthy, and if it's not um, being wasteful with your sperm. So, you know, like I said, there's balance in that. There's balance in everything in health. And uh, I really hope that under, helps you understand, you know, where you're at on that scale. If you're ejaculating too much, how, you know, how you can reduce it. And then if, if you're not, uh, you know, exercising your sexual organs enough um, to masturbate, masturbate or have sex more often because it's beneficial to your health. Um, and, and then another thing, I don't know if you, know, you guys are familiar with like sexual tension and what that refers to, but sexual tension is when your sexual organs have sexual tension and they need to be, they need to be exercised, they need to be, you know, um, they need that, it, it's healthy for you. So, um, just like, se you know, sex and masturbation, there's, you know, there's a balance and everything in health, and that's just another thing there's balance in health with, and your, you know, your beliefs as far as religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs, uh, may agree or disagree with that, but I mean, if you look at the science and you look at the actual, you know, benefits of sex and masturbation, there is benefit there. So I recommend it in balance, just like everything else, um, and I recommend that you take, you know, this this um, whole thing and really just research it further. Um, but for a lot of you, uh, I'm sure that sex and masturbation could be causing more acne because you're ejaculating too often, like most people do. So I recommend do that less often um, or masturbate, but just don't ejaculate. Um, so, I guess just look into it more like I said, like 15 times now, and uh, it's, it's, there's really not a lot of complex information to it, you know, there's too little and too much, so be in the middle, be balanced, be holistic, and do for the research for your age and, and you know, your lifestyle and uh, understanding um, that sperm is valuable to the health of your body, so don't waste it, okay? So, that's it for this video, guys. This is David the Skin King from AcneEracingSecrets.com. We're clearing the world of acne one person at a time, that's two sort of, but two by two, whatever. Uh, we're going to add more back in one person time starting with you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel by hitting the yellow button above. Hit the thumbs up uh, like video button on this video below. Um, favorite this video, share this video, add it to your playlist, and share it on your blog, Facebook, Twitter, and all those websites. Uh, I appreciate all the help, uh, support, and positive feedback. And we'll see you on my website at acneracingsecrets.com below. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day. And if you have any questions about acne, pimples, or breakouts, um, you know, leave your questions in the comment section below. I rarely see the direct messages, so leave it on a comment, and I'll look at the comment and then make a video based off your comment. Um, so leave questions, leave thoughts, leave opinions, and I will make videos about those because I'm running out of ideas now um, for new video creation. So leave me ideas to create new videos, and I'll make those new videos for you. This is Dave the Skin King from AcneRacingSecrets.com. Like, comment, favorite, share, and visit my website below. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.